Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can customize all your WooCommerce pages and make them look fantastic. And when I say customize, I mean top to bottom, literally, you know, you can customize any aspect of your product pages, or your shop page, your shopping cart, and even your checkout page. And for this, we are going to use Woo Lantern. So Woo Lantern is one of the easiest plugins available to get the job done. And also I'm going to show you how you can get this at the best deal possible using AppSumo. Okay, so let's get started. And there it is guys, AppSumo.com. So this is the one we're gonna to use to download our Woo Lantern plugin. So AppSumo basically they offer special deals on a lot of different things, you know, software courses, uh, creative assets, eBooks and PDFs, uh, templates and services and goods. So it's not just uh, plugins obviously, but plugins is one of the, the assets that they, they, they get you deals on, you know. So basically if you scroll down the page, as you can see, you have a few different things here. You have what, teleprompter, uh, lifetime deal on this one here the product dyno so basically whatever you're looking for that's a digital asset you can find a special deal here on appsumo.com now if we scroll down the page as you can see these are the ones that are recently viewed so we have lulenter which is the one we're going to focus on today launch floor next woo code designer wordpress speed secret and so on so these are all wordpress and WooCommerce related, obviously, because this is what our channel is focusing on. But today, as I said, we're going to look at WooLenter. So why did I pick WooLenter? Because they have a special deal here going on at the moment, which is very interesting. As you can see, $69. Okay. So normally WooLenter is $39. US So I'm going to say, well, but Dave, hold on a second here. This is more expensive. No, it isn't because this is a lifetime deal. So basically, WooLenter, if you go on their website, you're going to buy it at 39 US dollars, but you have to renew it every year. So obviously, after the second year, it's costing you more than this. This is a lifetime deal. So this is on its own very, very interesting indeed. And this is the type of deal that you're not going to get from the developer's website themselves, only with AppSumo. So this is why we're going to buy it from them here, okay? So basically for this, all we have to do is click on the buy now button and this is going to bring you to the checkout page. So obviously I already have an account with them. So you can see my email address here, but otherwise, if you've not registered with them, it's going to ask you for your email address first and then you can proceed to check out. So you have to select your payment method and here you can apply a discount code. Now I have an excellent news for you now. So AppSumo has kindly provided us with a special offer, which we are very thankful for. So basically AppSumo is giving 10% of the already discounted price to the first 100 of our viewers and subscribers who will click on the link in the description and make use of the coupon code provided next to it. So there you go. You can even save more money now. And then all you have to do basically is to apply the coupon code right here and proceed to check out. And there you go, guys. Once you've purchased Wool Enter, you'll be redirected to this page. And what you have to do now is to basically redeem the code here. So there are a few instructions here you can follow very easily, but we can do this together now, basically. So what you need to do is to click on this to copy the code and click on redeem now. And this will bring you to the WooLenter website immediately. As you can see, you can redeem your code basically here. Okay. So what you need to do is just to fill in your details. So let's do this together very quickly. So there you go, basically something like this. And then we scroll down the page. And as you can see, I have AppSumo code one and AppSumo code two. And this one, if purchased. So we purchased it already. So control V and then redeem. There you go. And now we can download it immediately from here. So this is basically our download page. So click on my downloads. And this will bring you to my downloads page. Scroll down and there it is. We'll enter for AppSumo. So downloads remaining unlimited. So unlimited download and expires, but it's no expiry date because it, this is a lifetime uh, license, okay? So now all you have to do is click on download and save this on your hard drive. Very good. And now I'll meet you guys in the WordPress dashboard. And welcome to our WordPress dashboard. So let me show you the website we have. So this is the Astra theme with one of their demos, obviously. You know? So we have, this is uh, all uh, cosmetic products in a beauty shop. So we go to our shop here. So as you can see, this is the default layout. So this is our shop page, so nothing special basically, you know, this is, as I said, default layout that comes out of the box from uh, with WooCommerce and the same with our product page. 
And obviously, if you add to cart, you have the shopping cart and the checkout page. And again, uh, the default uh, template. So what we're going to do now is to jazz this up a little bit, make it look a lot, a lot, a lot better. OK, so let's go ahead with this. So we go back to our press dashboard. We go to plugins, add new. And we're going to upload wool enter. So choose file. So this is the file we just downloaded. Install now. And then activate. And as you can see, we get an error message here. So basically, this is the pro version, the paid version, obviously. You know? So for this, we need to install the free version first and then enable this one. OK, so what we're going to do is just to go and add this now, add new. We go in the search box, we look for wool enter. And there it is. So this is the free version. We need to install this one first. Activate. And now that the free add-on has been installed, as you can see, the pro version has been activated as well. And it's asking us to activate the license. So now we need to go and fetch the license key. So for this, we go back to our uh, dashboard here, scroll down the page. And as you can see, I've managed licenses. So I'll click on this and there you go. If you scroll down the page, as you can see, if all your license keys are being listed here. So I'll just copy this and then paste it right there and then click activate. And that's it, all done already. And now we can use our Woolhunter uh, plugin and customize our website. Okay, so let's go through all the steps one by one. So let's start with our shop page. So let's say this one here. So as you can see, very basic. Uh, this is the default layout. So how can we just this up? Let me show you, okay? So let's start with this one. And all we have to do is go back to our WordPress dashboard. And from here, we're gonna create our new template. So for this, we're gonna use Elementor. So just underneath, we have template here, click on this. And we're going to create a new one. So this is a new page, basically. OK, so let's click on add new. So let's select this is a page and let's give it a name. So maybe who lantern and we said this is going to be the shop page. OK, so create template. So there you go. As you can see, by default, we'll have our header and footer section. And now we can create really whatever we want, basically. OK, so by the side here, we have all the different widgets. And if you scroll down, you'll have all the wool enter add-ons. So this is all the widgets that, that we can use basically to create our shop page here. So what are we going to do? We're going to create maybe a custom header first. So let's create this. So here we're going to add an image in the background. So let's add this. So we're going to select this. I have one here, OK, already, but feel free to pick any image that you want. There you go. So let's insert this in the gallery. Let's change the layout to a minimum height of maybe 400 pixels. Perfect. We're going to bring this up a little bit. So maybe let's try. Uh, let's bring this up a little bit just to the edge of the menu section. Perfect. So minus 70. Uh, that's perfect. There you go. And now we can add maybe a heading right here. So let's call this one shop page or maybe who lantern shop page okay then we can change our font so let's make it white and let's make it maybe a little bit bigger and a little bit thicker as well so wait i'm going to put 900 there you go that's perfect and now we can add our product underneath so we click on this go down the widget section and as you can see, we have wool enter add-ons. So these are the free ones. If you scroll down, we are interested only in the paid version. So the wool enter pro, this is the one. OK, and as you can see, you have the product grid, product grid expanding and then filterable product grid. So these are the ones we're interested in at the moment. OK, so if I select the product grid, drag and drop. There you go. As you can see, it's already there. And as you can see, it, uh, it has a, a, a different feel altogether. So you can select different styles. So this is style one. We can go for style two. As you can see, if you hover on top, you have uh, those things uh, showing up here with a, a nice uh, effect as well. Let's try style three. Very good. Again, slightly different. Sl uh, style four. OK, and style five. Let's have a quick look. OK, I like this one. I think this one is pretty cool. So let's go ahead with this and then we can customize the content, obviously, and, and how we will display this, the, the, the whole template and layout. So if we have a query here, you can define which products you want to display. So let's keep recent products for now, but you could have your best sellers, featured product, maybe a sales a product on sale, etc., etc. So let's def let's display maybe 12 per page. There you go. And as you can see, now we have a totally different 
feel all together. That looks very good, you know. And obviously you can customize every aspect as well. So if you wanted to change the color here, we can do that as well. So let's say if you wanted a hint of that blue here in the banner, we can do that very easily. We go to style, we go to action button style. And as you can see, you have the font color and the background color. And you can select this in normal mode and hover mode. So as you can see by default, it will be uh, dark gray. So we're going to change this color in normal mode. So background color change so let's add our blue let's have a quick look as you can see now it is blue and if you hover on top you can change the color as well so background color so let's select the same blue and let's make it slightly brighter there you go so let's have a quick look so if we scroll on this now and click there you go we have a nice effect and we have a quick reminder of this blue here on top which matches perfectly and now we can do the same with all these different items here at the bottom i think the title here the skin toner matches this perfectly which is fine we would leave it like this and again you have all this uh, sliding effect as well so again you can change the style here whichever you want you know right here this is really up to you now we have the additional options here as you can see we can define a few additional things here as you can see with the skin toner which is the basically the category anti-aging cream face cream you can decide to show it or not so if you click on this as you can see it will not display and you can do the same with the ratings if you have a reviews etc so this is again really up to you and as you can see you have full control uh, on the general outcome of your page now we have the columns here as you can see at the moment is set to three but you can have maybe just two or maybe four altogether. you know this is again up to you so i think three uh, was pretty much uh, okay and then you can add your spacing in between as well on top and bottom you know so feel free to play around with this to customize this freely now clearly this is too close you know we need to add a bit of breathing space so we click on our section advanced and we're going to add maybe 50 pixels on top and bottom there you go that looks just about perfect and what we can do now is to have a quick look basically okay so let's click on preview page and there it is and as you can see now we have a very unique landing page product page that doesn't look at all the same as the default WooCommerce page. And as you can see of the sliding effect and all these different colors. So this is just about perfect. Now from here, if we click on the shop page, as you can see, it is still displaying the old layout. So what do we need to do? But we need to go back to our WordPress dashboard. And this time we go to WooLenter settings. And we need to assign that basically. Okay, so we have the WooCommerce template right here. You scroll down you have the product shop page template and right here we need to select the wool lantern shop page go down the page save se settings and now we go back here and we can click on shop page again and there it is guys as you can see this is our proper landing page so this is how you can customize your shop page with your own parcel requirements and preferences and have a very very beautiful effect as you can see this looks fantastic now doesn't it so how can you do this the same with the single product page so if we click on this one here there you go so again this is the default layout so how can you adjust this up and make it your own well, it's the same principle basically you know we go back to our wordpress dashboard we're going to create a new uh, template here so let's select page this one we're going to call it single product page create template and let's create our page so let's click on this first we're going to add maybe an image by the side and the description on the other side so image going to here and all the details right there and then underneath we can add additional features afterwards so let's take care of our image first so we scroll down all our widgets so again we'll enter add-ons these are the free ones we're going to use the pro for the image there it is and as you can see you have advanced product image and product image with zoom so depending on the effect that you want both of them will work fine so let's go ahead with the zoom one so we'll add this here there you go as you can see of all the different images and as you can see if you hover on top you have a nice effect as well which might be handy for this type of website so by the side here we'd like to add a few bits of information obviously you know so we scroll down again so this time we're going to add the title so for this we're going to use the product title there it is so drag and drop 
And again, you can customize this fully as well. So we go to style. I think the font is actually fine the way it is, but if you wanted to change it again, you can use this feature here. We're going to leave it like this because I think it looks perfect. And then underneath this, we're going to add the description. So again, scroll down uh, all our options here. And there it is, product description, drag and drop, there's underneath. Perfect. And again, you can customize this fully as well, but let's keep it the way it is. It's fine as well. So now we're going to add our price and there it is. So product price, drag and drop. So we're going to make this one big enough. I don't think, I don't think it's big enough at the moment. So let's go to typography and let's select maybe Montserrat. Let's change the font size. There we go. And maybe a little bit thicker. Maybe that's too big. Maybe too thick. Sorry. There it is. And maybe slightly italic. Sorry. I'm going to put this in italic. And there you go. That's perfect now. Now, clearly, we need an add to cart button. So let's scroll down our options again. And there it is. Add to cart. So drag and drop. And again, this is fully customizable. Now, as you can see, the color, we're back to the same default colors. Maybe you want to change this to the blue we had in the header section. So for this, we can go here, basically in normal mode. So let's select the color. So this is the text color. What we want is the background color and change this here. There you go. As you can see now, this is dark blue and you can change this in hover color as well. You can have the background color. So let's add the same, but slightly brighter. And now let's tweak this a little bit farther. So let's select our section here. Let's add a background color as well. So we're going to select here color. And let's select maybe a gray, maybe something like this, a very nice shade. We can add a bit of margin on top, a bit of padding, sorry, on top. So let's add maybe 40, yeah, and 40 at the bottom. So let's have a look. Okay, that looks fine. And now we could add a bit of padding in all these two areas here. So we click on this one, advance. So let's add 40 all around. And we do the same here with our image. Again, advance, padding, 40. And there you go. That looks absolutely great. And now because all our background color here is uh, gray, we could have the background of our image here in white, perhaps to see if it stands out a little bit more. So we go into background. Sorry, there it is. So background color. Let's select white. Let's try it. See how this looks like. I think this is fine. And then we can add a little border all around it. So we're going to select dot it one a pixel in thickness. There you go. So let's click update and let's have a quick preview. And again, we don't see anything because the layout is not assigned in the back end. So for this, we go back to WooLanter settings, WooCommerce template. And right here where we have the single page, we are going to assign this to the single product page. Again, we scroll down, save changes. And now if we go back to our shop page, let's open any of them pages. So let's open this one, for instance. And there you go. As you can see, we have something totally unique and different. And now if we add this to the cart, there you go. Let's have a look at our shopping cart now. So there it is again. This is the basic default layout. So we can also customize this if we wanted to. And again, for this, we go back to our WordPress dashboard. We go to our templates here and we're going to create a new one. So again, this is a page. Let's call this one WooLenter car page. And if we scroll down the options again, this is part of the pro version. So let's scroll down straight at the bottom here. There it is. So here we have our cart table right here. So we can drag and drop it. There you go. And as you can see, we have all our different rows and columns here and we can customize all of this now. So by the side, you can manage your, your rows basically here. OK, so you have remove image, product title, Im, uh, price, quantity in total. Now you can reorganize them. So I suppose uh, remove might be next to the quantity instead. So we can move this around just like this. Yeah, the image should be fast normally, you know, and this is probably too big. So if you click on this, you can change the size of each uh, column as well. So as you can see, this is maybe a bit too big. So let's make it smaller and it, oh, you can remove the title altogether. We don't need this because I think most users will know what it is actually, you know, so then we can make it smaller. There you go. And the quantity is probably too uh, broad as well. So let's make it a bit smaller. There you go. That's just about perfect now, isn't it? 
And then there are a few extra options here at the bottom, as you can see, disable user adjustment quantity. As you can see, if I click on top, you can uh, increase or decrease the amount here. So you can disable this if you wanted to. So there's no changes. It's just the quantity that you added. Okay. You can remove the product link. So you cannot link back to the product themselves. Show product categories. So if you enable this, as you can see now, we have the category displaying and you can also show the stock level. So basically all together, these are very handy features if you want to add this kind of information and then you can stylize everything again, obviously, you know, so you have your heading, your table, the table cells. So all aspects of this table can be customized fully. So let's change just the heading here together. Okay. So let's add our blue again. So this is going to be our background color here. So let's add the blue. Very good. And then we can change the font color, maybe to white. Perfect. And maybe we can add some border all around it just to go along with the, the, the heading here. Okay. So we go to table this time. And as you can see, I have border. So we're going to select maybe dot it again with one pixel and the color. Let's add our blue then. Okay. So that's it. And perhaps we could have our update card as well in the same blue. So let's scroll down. We have the update card. And then we can change the color. So normal mode, background color. There you go. And then we can have in hover mode as well, background colors. Let's take the same blue and then slightly brighter if you hover on top. There you go. That's perfect now. Very good. And now underneath, we need to add our proceed to checkout feature. Okay. So we go back here now. So we're going to create a double column here, two columns. So on this uh, side, we're going to put on the right hand side, the proceed to check out. And right here, we might have an upsell or something like this. Okay. So let's go and check our widgets here. So let's scroll down. So again, Woolen Top Pro. So let's have a quick look. So this is the card total. This is the one we need. So drag and drop. There it is. This is our total. Now we need to change the color here again. So we go to style. Uh, checkout button so we want to make it maybe let's say even a red color vivid because you want to buy this now okay so let's change the background color and let's select maybe a reddish color like this perfect okay this is good and then let's uh, make use of this space here maybe you can add some upsell so again we scroll down to the wool enter pro and we have an upsell product and cross sell product, but these only work on the product page, actually, you know. So what are we going to do? We're going to have a walk around solution. We're going to use the product grid here again, drag and drop. There you go. As you can see, of three products being shown here. And now we could have maybe a title that says you might also be interested in. So we go to heading, drag and drop here on top. Or let's say maybe you might also like and then dot, dot, dot. So there you go. That's basically all we need for this page now. So we can click update. And as always, we need to assign this in WooLenter. So again, we go to WooLenter settings, WooCommerce template, locate the, te the cart here, and then we can select our template uh, shopping cart. This is the one here. Save changes. So now if we go back to this page, as you can see, this is what it looked like. So if we refresh, now it should display our new template. There you go. So obviously you would have to spend a little bit more time than what we're doing here. I'm just showing you all the basics here, how you can customize this. But obviously you have to spend a bit more time to make it look uh, neat and tidy, obviously, you know. So if you click on proceed to check out again, we can do the exact same. You can customize this fully as well. And for this, you can go back to the templates here and create a new page, or you can make use of one of the specific modules that come with WooLenter. So let me show you very quickly. So if you go to WooLenter, we go back to our settings. And here you have a module section. So these are different modules that are pre-made and ready to use. And as you can see here, we have the Shopify style checkout. And if you enable this, you can now turn your default WooCommerce checkout page into a Shopify checkout page and it looks absolutely fantastic and this will greatly improve your user experience. So to do so, just click enable and then click save changes and that's all we have to do. Now let's go back to our checkout page and let's refresh. 
And there you go, as you can see, our full layout has been changed completely. So we have a quick review here of our uh, order. As you can see, anti-aging skin toner and skin whitening toner. So this is our total. You can apply your coupon code. And by the side, we have a shortened, abbreviated version of the contact form, the registration form, basically, which makes it much more easier for your visitors to go through the checkout process. And again, the less tumbling blocks, the better for your conversion rate. So there you go, guys. This is how you can customize your WooCommerce pages using WooLanter. Now, clearly, there are a lot more features, but you can have a good idea now already of how powerful this tool really is. And yet it's super easy to use as well. Now, again, don't forget to take advantage of the special offer from AppSumo themselves, where they give you an additional 10% discount if you use the link in the description below, along with the coupon code next to it. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in our next video.